Welcome to this week's tutorial. We are making some cute little cupcake toppers and I just want to confess that I was about 25 minutes into a really complex cake topper tutorial um, as I went about making my daughter's uh, cake topper for her birthday when I realized it was way too complicated for the YouTube channel. So I may rework it and add it to FileMakers Academy, which is my five week file design project. Uh, I'm sorry, program where just like uh, on the YouTube channel, you guys work through uh, different projects with me, learning new skills each time. And you design your own versions of the techniques that I'm showing you and end up with a portfolio of gorgeous projects by the end that you can sell or sell the files for or whatever. So details about that are in the description here. And again, we're going to just simplify it back down and make it something that even uh, a beginner can accomplished. So we're going to make some three cake toppers, three because my daughter is turning three. So we'll start with our, our type tool. And I'm using wild mango font. So you can change your font right here. And I'm just going to type three. And I love wild mango because it's got so much character. And I find that even fonts that have a lot of character sometimes don't have a lot of character with the numbers. But I really appreciate the look of wild mango numbers. All right, so go ahead and, and uh, use your selection tool. So that very first one, hold down the shift key and click any of these that have straight arrows. So uh, it will preserve your proportions. You don't need to worry about the precise size right now. Just get it big enough that you can click it reliably. Okay, um, and so we have our number. Go ahead and uh, right click it and create outlines. All right, at this point, we want to come over to the properties panel. Make sure that your width and height proportions lock is enabled, so it's dark like that. And type in one inch for the width, and it will resize the height automatically, so don't worry about that. Okay, so that's a good size for a cupcake topper. If you're making this for a cake topper, you're going to want it much bigger, but this is perfect for a cake topper. Then we're going to create a rectangle. If you have a different shape right here, just click and hold until the rectangle tool pops up. Click anywhere on your canvas here, and we're going to do a 0.15 inch wide by two inch high rectangle. And you don't need to worry about perfect placement in terms of centering it on the three. We'll, we'll use a tool to do that later. But you do want it to be overlapped onto the three a little bit. Um, but not as much as all this because then you've got a weird corner sticking up, okay? So just make sure it's nestled snugly within that. Uh, and then this part is technically optional. I think you could jab this shape into a cupcake just fine, but I'm going to add a triangle at the end just to make it even easier. So I'm clicking and holding on the rectangle tool until my other options pop up. I'm using the polygon tool and I need three sides. I'm not worrying about the radius. I need three sides and hit OK. Come over here, use this tool to flip it vertically. All right, if you don't have that tool, you could use the angle here and put in 180 degrees or go to Object, Transform, and use the Reflect option right there. OK, so now that you've got your upside down triangle, use that Select tool just so that you're not on your, um, you're not making new triangles on accident. And come on over here to the width, again, making sure that your width and height proportions are locked and type 0.15 inches, okay? So that's the, exactly the same width as this rectangle. All right, drag it over. It, look, these smart guides pop up and tell you that it's intersected. That's wonderful. If for some reason it doesn't happen that way for you, because sometimes it doesn't, just zoom in. And it will zoom, if you're zooming, I use a command plus on the Mac. Um, but if you're zooming, you're zooming into the center of whatever is selected. So if you have the whole cake topper selected, it will zoom into like the center of that basically. Uh, but if you've got the triangle selected, you'll see that. Now we're going to just uh, make sure that it's really nice there. And again, if yours did not get as neatly uh, as mine did, maybe it ended up like this or something like that, just zoom in further and you'll be you'll have a greater degree of control over um where things go okay what did i do <laughs> i moved it okay uh and I, I hit undo there we go so now it is uh where it needs to be i'm going to select all so come up to select and select all there are other ways that you can do that but that's a, a good one and come over to this align panel and select the one that says horizontal align center 
you want all three of these items, all three of these pieces to be centered so that it looks really nice when you're all finished. If you didn't have that, that panel there when you had everything selected, come up to object and you'll be able to go align, horizontal, align, center. That wasn't showing up because nothing was selected. So let's just show you, Oop, and there you go. All right, once it's all uh, aligned and everything is where it needs to be, use your Pathfinder panel and click to unite. You wanna pay special attention to make sure that, that um, there's no line here now that, that uh, the triangle merged really neatly with the, um, with the stem. It doesn't always happen that way. And if it doesn't, it's because your triangle was either the wrong size or not perfectly intersected with your um, stem. And if that's the case, just undo. So edit undo and then adjust your triangle and start again. All right. Mine worked, so that's great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch the fill and stroke or swap the fill and stroke so that it's got a stroke around the edge and no fill. We wanna make sure it's got a zero, like a none fill. And at this point, we'll, we'll go ahead and save it as an SVG. You'll want to, um, well, I already, uh, this is my second version because the other one wasn't the right size. Um, make sure that SVG 1.0 is selected and make sure that responsiveness is not selected so that it doesn't resize, okay? Um, so at this point, you have a cute little simple but beautiful uh, cupcake topper. If you make cupcake toppers or decide to expand this into a cake topper, I would love to see pictures. Send them to me um, on Instagram at thefabletree or email to Jacqueline at thefabletree.com. All right, see you next week.